All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Reka Kwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Aquas that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Protests Outside of Gracie Mansion. Now, this video was originally shared with me of you know all of the protesters that's outside of gracie mansion because um i believe today is the day where uh all city workers in new york city they have to take the jab uh i believe by 5 p.m today let me see if they have it within this article right here um yeah it's right down here so uh but i'm gonna get to it because i'm gonna read a little bit of this article but pretty much all of the city workers, they have to um have their first dose of the JAB by 5 p.m. today. And it's a lot of people that's not with it and everything like that. And uh, I originally was going to play the video so you all could just listen to it. But um they dropped the V-bomb. <laughs> they dropped that a little bit too much for me to be comfortable to post that video. So... Because, you know, I'm still trying to work on getting my last um, strike off of this channel. So I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to read a little bit of this article. But as you can see within the headline, it says FDNY unions protest that mandate outside Gracie Mansion on Upper East Side. And then it says uh, down here, Upper East Side, Manhattan, WABC, with a day to go into until NYC's mandate goes into effect. Fire union officials rallied outside Gracie Mansion on Thursday and were joined by other union members and politicians. Some of those attending were in, were in fact JAB'd, but say they were taking part in the protest as a matter of principle. You know, because at the end of the day, a lot of people are starting to realize this is more about control than actually about healing people. This is not about trying to stop, you know, the pandemic that's going on. It's not uh anything about trying to stop the diseases out here is all about control all right and it says the crowd filled an entire city block on the upper east side from curb to curb right now 71 percent of fdny members are fully jabbed of those 65 percent of firefighters are 80 percent of ems are and 83 percent of civilian members are if that number doesn't go up by friday there are concerns there won't be enough firefighters to stab the city's 218 firehouses. And this is more than just the firehouses. It's the ambulances. All right. Because uh, there's a lot of people that work for these uh, doc, these uh, hospitals, uh, the police force, the firefighters. There's a lot of people that's not with it. And a lot of them are about to get laid off with no pay. OK. And a lot of people are starting to become enraged about that. And they're starting to become angry. And now, you know, they're protesting outside of the house and everything like that so they can see if they can make a change. But the thing is that people don't understand is they won't change anything, man. Esau know he has a short time to do this thing, man. So he's going to make sure he uses what he has in place right now to get what he needs to get out. All right. And then it says the union warned Wednesday after some failed negotiations with the city. Response times for emergency calls could slow to 15 to 20 minutes. And lives could be put at risk. <laughs> That's even with forced overtime. All right. And you can only imagine how this would be for Jake. Because whenever Jake calls 911, all right, the police <laughs> don't show up on time. They don't show up quick. You know, you know, like they say, there's truth behind every joke. When you look at a lot of these movies, especially, you know, the Wayne's brothers, they always bring this joke out. You know, certain scenes in movies and TV shows. Uh, uh, a, a so-called black person would call the police and then they'll be like, all right, you know, they'll get, they'll get put on hold once they realize where the location or the call is coming from. They have to wait like five to 10 minutes before they finally get a hold of somebody. And then after that, as soon as they get a hold of somebody, they'll be like, all right, we'll be there in about 30, 45 minutes. They'll be like, but I'm in trouble right now. And then they'll just hang up the phone or something, you know, make some type of joke out of it. But at the end of the day, like I said, there's always some truth behind a joke. Because that's what it is. Esau is not trying to help Jake. You know, at the end of the day, this whole thing is about Jake. It's about Esau taking back, back his birthright. And he's trying to eliminate pretty much all of us. But 
the Most High is protecting us because the Most High is going to make sure that a small remnant of us will be saved. And a small remnant of us will be taken out of this wicked society. And we're going to be, the 144,000 are going to be beside Yahweh Shai. Because that's going to be the end all be all is when Yahweh Shai comes back. Because Esau doesn't realize that. Yeah, you could try to eliminate us, but you can't eliminate, eliminate the Lord or the elect. Then it says, the president of the city's fire union told eyewitnesses news that he's urging his unjabbed members to defy the mayor's order and report for work on Monday. What happens on November 1st will be on him. I'll tell my members to go to work. If he sends them home, it's on him. Saying Uniform Firefighters Association, President Andrew Ansbro. All right. Then it says the union's order sets up a showdown with Mayor Bill de Blasio, who has insisted the, that mandate is non-negotiable. No, there's no discussion of changing the deadline, de, uh, de Blasio said. The bottom line is, can we do the things we need to do, first of all, to keep the city safe for the long run? Well, that means getting people that. Well, that means getting people that. <laughs> yes, we can do that. Yes, we have a plan to do that. And then can we keep all the other services moving in a way that protects New Yorkers? Yes, all municipal workers are required to show proof of that by 5 p.m. Friday or be placed on unpaid leave. It applies to roughly one in four police officers and one in three firefighters and EMS workers. Police and fire commanders are already draw drawing up plans to protect New Yorkers without thousands of first responders. <laughs> right. In a city where there are on an average 80 heart attacks every day and three serious fires every hour. Damn. That's on the city of New York. They're making determinations to force feed this and the ramifications of this are outlandish, said retired FDNY Fire Marshal Kieran, uh, Kieran Burke. So at the end of the day, if you want to continue to read this or if you just want to go to another site and read about it, you know, just type in protests outside of Gracie Mansion. And, you know, all kind of things to pop up because this thing is happening today. So at the end of the day, man, you know, like I said, Esau is doing what he needs to do because he know if he doesn't do anything, he pretty much put in all this wickedness and all this work for no reason. And he wants to get the birthright back so he can be in power and have the blessing forever. But that's not the case, man. You cannot commit wickedness and do evil and expect to come out on top. The bad guy always lose in the movie, man. The evil one always loses in the movie. They can never overcome because their selfishness and their greed will destroy themselves. OK, so at the end of the day, this is what's happening. And this is not only in New York. This is um, in Chicago as well, because there's a lot of, uh, you know, it's a mandate out there that's going on where there was like, you know, a lot of uh, police officers are about to be laid off unless Lori Lightfoot makes a decision to uh, do something else and everything like that. But you got to remember, man, you know, the majority of these people that's in power, they are in power and they are uh, coinciding with each other. OK, they know what's going on. So they're going to make sure that they follow orders. You know, uh, there's going to be a lot of places that's not going to be with it and everything like that. But at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe a lot of these people might end up like the uh, the Haitian president. You know, the Haitian president was assassinated and we all know why he was assassinated. His whole country was doing well without these mandates. OK. And, you know, he saw realized it and he went over there and hey, did what he had to do and got rid of him. We're like we're going to make sure we get this thing pushed out across the whole globe. All right. Because as, as we all know, this whole thing is going to lead into the MOTB. OK, the chip. So in order for them to get on, uh, get things on board, they have to do these things, man. So at the end of the day, hey, amen, the purge is coming. The purge is coming, man. They talking about people won't be able to respond in 15 and 20 minutes. You know what can happen within 15 and 20 minutes? Just like uh, we've been bringing out the past few days. It's like with the woman that was raped on a train. She was raped on a train and then she went by, I believe they said between 20 and 27 stops. Now, you know, with a train that goes by, you know, that many stops, let's say in the major city, that is around, you know, between 15, maybe, you know, maybe like 40 minutes or so. It just depends on how quick everything flows and everything like that. But that's a, a decent amount of time to get something done as far as, you know, a crime, some type of wickedness, whatever the case may be. They'd be like, oh, you know, 
you know, people think about these type of things. They'd be like, oh, man, ain't nobody going to be here for at least almost another half hour. <laughs> they going to be like, oh, man, we got all kind of time to do what we got to do. We can get up out of here. OK, so this is what's coming, man. You know, all hell is about to break loose. And this is a beautiful thing, man, because, um, you know, we all getting tired of being here, man. So let's get Mark three and twenty three. This is Mark chapter three, verse 23. And it says, and he called it to him and he called them unto him, Salakia, and said them unto them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against him against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. And we already know this place hath an end. Second Ezra chapter six, verse nine. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. This place has an end because this place is divided. You know, Esau goes to his uh, his power, Satan. He gets all of his um, blessings, and everything from him, from the Most High, though, because that's another thing Esau doesn't realize. Satan cannot do anything unless the Most High tells him to do so. OK, so it's going to become a time where. Esau is going to pray to Satan so then he can get what he needs to uh, get and um, be successful in the areas that he needs to be successful in. But the prayers are not going to be answered because this is the end of his society. He's going to realize that, oh, man, my prayers are not being answered. My blessings are, are leaving me. And he's going to realize this is his end. They realize it now the 13 banking families, they know this is their end, man. This is why they're pushing to do this thing heavy right now. OK. But it says a, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. You got people that's with taking the JAB and then you got people that's not with it. OK. And the thing is, the people that's not with it, when you bring these heavy unrighteous decrees upon them and you take away their money, you take away their livelihood. OK. You take away all these things that these people have been working for for years and years and years. And you take it away just because they don't want to take something that you said is mandatory. OK, they're going to lose it. They're going to lose it, man. It's already people that have been going to these council meetings and they've been saying, like, look, man, if you do these things to us, man, hey, we taking it to the streets. And like I said before, then not only are they going to take it to the streets, but they're going to they're going to actually take it to these uh, people's houses. As far as the governors, the mayors, the senates, all of them, man, they're going to take it to their, these people's houses, just like they're doing right now. They're protesting outside of the Gracie Mansion. OK, because a lot of these people know where these people live and they know where these orders are coming from because the people that's on TV, they're telling you on live broadcast, hey, you got to do these things. They're like, OK, I know your full name. All I got to do is Google you because you pretty much, you know, famous. All I got to do is Google you and these people will find out where you live, man. And they're going to take it to these people and they're going to regret everything that they did. So at the end of the day, this place is getting ready to crumble, man. Let's get second address. Um. Let's get second address 15 and 14. And it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of, the, of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. There's going to become a time where grown men, swole diesel men, men that has all of the, the uh, fighting skills in the world or, or, you know, the shooting skills in the world or whatever the case they may be. Men out here are about to be afraid. So you already know what that says according when it comes to the women, man. All right. And the children. All right. Is there going to become a time where. Like I said, people are going to be fighting against each other, man, because there's not going to be any food in these stores. These unrighteous decrees are going to be um, put on heavy on everybody. OK. And then, like I said, they shall not regard their kings or their prisons. Like I said, these are your presidents, your governors, your mayors. These are them in this day and age. OK. They're not going to regard them. They're going to be like, oh, OK, you all are saying that we got to do this. We got to do that. They're not going to think about getting locked up, especially when there's no police out here especially when police can't even show up to the scene. Like they, like I said, man, they got people over here talking about, man, you know, even people that work overtime can't even 
show up to the scene if something happened, man. Okay? Because that's going to be another thing, too. A lot of the people that did take it, you know, they're going to keep continue to work and continue to get paid and everything like that. But they're going to be overworked. And then they're going to be overworked to the point where they may quit. They're going to be like, look, man, I can't take this anymore. Some people might actually commit suicide because they're going to be like, look, man, I'm, I'm seeing all of these things happening on a daily basis and I'm not getting no rest, man. It's going to drive them crazy. OK, and this is and Esau knows what's going on, man. He knows what he is doing, man. He's 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 destroying his place. So what he could bring? He could hit that great reset button. He's destroying his place so he can try to build this place back up, man. All right. As in Malachi. Let's get that real quick. Let's get that real quick. Um, this is Malachi chapter one, verse four. It says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return to build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Righteous anger. Okay. So Esau know what he is doing, man. He's trying to destroy this place and bring these people down on purpose and take away all of their freedoms and everything like that. So they can just have one way to go, one way to go. They'd be like, okay, look, the dollar collapse. There's no food. You know, you can't do this unless you take the J.A.B. So forth and so on. The only way that you get back to living to, back to normal is if you take the M.O.T.B. OK, and a lot of people are going to rush to it. They're going to destroy this place on purpose so then they can build this place back up within a digital era, the new war order. But just like it says right here, the Lord is going to throw this place down, man. As soon as they realize that, um, you know, they're getting to the point where they like, yes, we, you know, our plan is in effect. The most High is going to interfere, man. The most High is going to give you how we shine the angels the order and they're going to come down here and wreck this place, man. OK. Revelation 12 and 12, you know, uh, let's get that real quick. Because like I said, this is why Esau is doing this, man. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Well, to the habits of the earth and of the sea. But the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but the short time. All right. He's doing these things because he know he doesn't have that much more time to rule. His blessing is about to be up. And, you know, Esau's pride is so over himself <laughs> he's so soaked in it he's so marinated in his pride that he doesn't understand that you know he can't do anything that make his blessing continue okay only reason you are in authority right now is because the most high puts you there to punish the children of israel the negroes latinos and native americans and that was only for a short amount of time man that's it you are not the chosen you are not the true people over there in the land of Israel right now, and you cannot do anything to um um to make these prophecies not happen. Okay, these prophecies are gonna happen, and it's gonna hit you in your ass, man. You're gonna be brought down very, 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 very low. You mean, man, you're gonna be brought down so low. <laughs> like the scriptures say, is this the man that made nations to tremble? They're gonna be like this. These people. These people, I remember they were once in power and they had all of this and they had all of that. Now look at them. That's what's getting ready to happen, man. But like I said, as soon as uh, Esau gets ready to do what he got to do, this is what's going to happen to him. And then we're going to close it with this. This is Job chapter 20. And we get to the point, uh, verse 23. And it says, when he is about to fill his belly, the most I shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So while Esau is actually looking and seeing everybody take the MOTB, everybody taking the JAB, everybody is falling in order. You know, he got his, his military out there. His uh, martial law is established. Everything is going according to the way that he wants it to go. He's going to, you know, get full of himself, man. He's going to be like, man, I knew I could do this. I knew I could do this. Look, our plans are executing now perfectly. The next thing you know, the Most High's fury is going to be cast upon him, man, that great wrath. Because Yahweh Shai, like I said, is the end all, be all. As soon as Yahweh Shai cracked those skies, that's it. They cannot do anything else with what they have, man. No more new, no more new war order. No more uh, people taking the MOTB. Only thing that's going to happen is World War Three is going to be going on. Those missiles are going to be shot over here. The angels and Yahweh Shai is going to be coming down here 
killing a lot of people and saving the elect, man. That's it. So as soon as, as soon as Esau feels like he's about to win, he's going to lose within that same moment. And this is why we need to keep the faith until the end, man. Because we know Esau is not about to prosper. He's not about to prosper, man. He's about to be brought down and we're about to be pulled up, man. It's like it says in Genesis, man. You know, we had our hand on his heel. You know, we're going to pull him down, man, through the power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So I just want to bring this out because, you know, uh, within a video that was shared with me about the uh, protests of, uh, you know, outside of Gracie Mansion, you know, a lot of people was like, man, if they don't uh, do something quick, this could be catastrophic. All right? And we just pretty much read that as well. You know, that was like, man, you know, because they're going to lose a lot of people to help protect the city of New York. And the thing is, it was already crumbling before the, before now, because they said, I think around Times Square and everything, people were just doing drugs in front of people, broad daylight, prostitution was going on, this legal, you know, they, they just letting them do it and everything like that. And all kinds of crimes is going on in a place where it's supposed to be a tourist area. Okay, so you only can imagine how much worse it's going to get when they don't have as much protection out there now. It's going to get crazy, man. It's not just going to be New York, man. It's not just going to be New York. This is going to be a thing that's going to become a wildfire. <laughs> this thing is going to flow in all 50 states and all around the world, man. Just like right now in Australia. They said literally people in Australia, it's not only for city workers, for them. It's for everybody. I believe they said it's for everybody because the uh, dude was naming all kind of positions. He said people, the barbers, people that work in grocery stores, this, that. He said, look, man, if you don't have this by, I think he said November 13th, it was like, hey, man, you won't be able to work. You won't be able to do anything. So this is going to come down to the point where we're going to have to make a major decision, man. Are you going to be with Esau's system or are you going to have faith in your how about show me how shot, man? How, how much do you want that money? How much do you want to keep your life? Or how much do you want to lose your life so you can save it? Okay? This is a decision that's coming down to the wire, man. So let's get ready, man. Because it's coming. It's coming. Keep faith in your Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And you have a rat to zah. I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.